Did that way. All right, time for a Vanguard review. Woo! Oh my God! One sixty-nine, Legion Mate Six, Paragraph Twelve. <laughs> We're going to the Shadow Realm. No, yes, very. Oh boy. So I guess we should start things off with the beginning of the episode. All right, so uh, Mila and Kai are chatting up at Kai's place, uh, wherein Mila has a cup with his name on it. Yep. And also, we Confirmed. totally would Mary. watch Iron Chef Kai. <laughs> I think I... Yeah. This was just, uh... Good to see, uh... <laughs> how they, they went into such detail on how he cooked this one thing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, like, I almost want to do a video about me making the thing you described. <laughs> and see how disastrous it is. <laughs> <laughs> see if Boucher actually knows how food works. <laughs> Let's find out. I mean, I'm a pretty good cook. Rico can attest to this. And just going from the point that Miwa has a cup at Kai's house with his name on it. Confirmed. He's over there a lot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, um... Miwa's confused because Kai's like, no, oh. we, we don't need more people. That doesn't sound like a good idea because we're being targeted and shit. And, I don't know, Miwa gets Not distracted by the TV at some point because Ultra Rare's on. And then the next time he turns around, bam, Kai's not there. Because you see Kai's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he... He got this idea and he said to go visit Cardstop's side because, Which, well, uh, that's where everything happens. But last time I remember, <laughs> something, knows something, something needs Cyqualia to even find it. And he's like, I know he has it in the manga, but... In the anime, they pretty much established he doesn't have it. Flash of Blade came to him. It became an ordinary store. I guess. With floating cards. You know what? Oh, forget it. He had the power of Link Joker. He's special enough to find it on his own. <laughs> Fair enough. Especially since like, while I was corrupted by the void. Moving along. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so while he's in there, um, not IT shows up. <laughs> <laughs> you find out he is the Frenchest man ever! <laughs> Exclamation point, not I Olivia Gaillard. Olivia Gaillard. Yep. Like Remy Gaillard. The guy who, you know, dressed up in the uh, bat suit and terrorized a bunch of people in France. Or dressed up as Pac Man and ran through a grocery store. <laughs> also, we find out that there are other countries in this show besides. Whoa. We knew yeah, that. We knew Kai that went that to America. More, more yeah. the point, we learned that Kai went to not just America, but all over the world. You know, this is something that would have been useful to know ages know. ago. Season yeah. 2 when he went to the Himalayas. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> glad they actually filled in that plot hole. How about freaking, um, what's his face, going to Africa? <laughs> becoming the Snake King. Man. I don't even know what... I don't even know what Kyo was trying to be at that point, but... Yeah, it's like we knew other places exist. Heck, Singapore. Yeah, I, I meant, what I meant was, it was we're seeing a character from a different continent. Singapore! <laughs> Hong Kong, Emily. Singapore is still part of Asia, right? It is. Oh. Well, sort of. I don't. Japan, it's though. not Japan, is my point. It's not the same country. I meant to say other continent. <laughs> <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Stop it. derailing this thing. I'm sorry. We're not leaving this in. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah anyway. Uh, well, he's like talking. He's like talking. And suddenly, uh, he name drops Aichi, and Kai's like, "Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you must be a friend of ours." <laughs> no! <laughs> must be a friend. <laughs> Kai's not really good at this. Also, they reference that other countries find the word "mate" kind of weird. Because he was kind of like mate. Okay. More like, I don't think I am this thing you're thinking I am. Yeah. Am you're banned from talking for the rest of the episode. Well, it had nothing to do with the word made. Because he, he was he's uh, above them. Yeah. Like in his own eyes anyway. He feels he's bigger than them, and he feels that he doesn't need to associate with them. In fact, that's why he's there. Shut up, Navi. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why he's there. At any rate, uh, 
Because the, uh, yeah, the usual stop looking for IT. Yeah, don't look no. for IT. No. So then they fight. Oh no! Not not just not just no. Oh yeah, no. Oh, in English. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm. With a very expressive no. <laughs> em, look up. Uh, Kai was using his English for emphasis. That's how you <laughs> know. No reason to busy. actually substitute the English word no there. They just did it anyway. I think Em's giving us a weird look. You have something to say, Em? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, they, they fight because uh, what else are you going to do to solve disputes in, uh, <laughs> in a card game, card game show? <laughs> but it's not just anyone. Bam! He has these rings that when he hits together, they make the roof fill with fire. Oh, man. I wonder if you can actually see the fire from the outside. How do you they show the outside, it's just a little wispy. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. anyway, yeah, if that b fire was, uh, instead of blue and lighter blue, purple and black, I I, th I think you you know where this is going. Uh, yeah, anyway, it's Holy Prominence Prison, uh, totally not a shadow game. No, <laughs> totally not at all. <laughs> nope, it's just, it's just whatever. But anyways, they're fighting. Uh, we find out that uh, Guylard says, uh, and "Yeah." It's the first time the Kai or anyone's hearing about them within the protagonist group, so it's a pretty big thing. And we know that their purpose is to guard Aichi while he sleeps. For what reason we don't know. Well, no, yet, but I mean, there'll be time to find out. <laughs> and that uh, he's one of. But of course, well, the name Quadronite sort of gives that away anyway. <laughs> yeah, shocking spoilers. <laughs> the, night, the four knights have four people in it. Oh my god. I think god. you're going to tell me the Elite Four is four people. <laughs> Q4 was totally three people for some time. It's true. For a whole season. Uh, so yeah, Kai opened awful apparently because he ends up at like. Five going into turn uh, three. <laughs> <laughs> so well, bad. Uh, yeah, exchanging blows and uh, shock and awe because gold paladins, specifically liberators. Uh, I just deck. What are you doing with that? Well, you know. I borrowed it. Well, Please. you see, uh, it is nothing special. I'm, I, I just am the embodiment of IT. Because you can do that, you know. <laughs> Whatever that means. Why? Why would he not give it to, you know, one of us? I mean, obviously, Kai's upset, but uh, he's doing what he can. And then suddenly... I just find it more weird that, you know, what's the face is not more mad that, you know, Kai has Blaster Blade and he doesn't. <laughs> Pretty much. No reactions there. Uh, Monarch Sanctuary comes down. Kai starts freaking out because that card beat him before. <laughs> He's got post Monarch stress. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he barely survives. He sets up his Legion play, Blessed Play, and comes out. No reaction on Guy Art's end. <laughs> like he like, literally doesn't change personality. Your opinion's them. Okay, I guess none. Uh, and we go for the big uh, Legion play with our um, almighty Thing Saber Dragon. Thing <laughs> Saber <laughs> Dragon. Suburbs Crunchy please. Roll. Now, it sounds stupid, but take to consider a few things. First, this is a time traveling dragon from way back in the past in a very old English based um, clan and in old English and Nordic and other things thing actually did have another meaning it meant assembly roughly i.e. assembly saver dragon or the saver of the assembly of royal paladins really it makes more sense than sing saver dragon the saver of singing <laughs> they're both really dumb names is my point, but uh, at least uh, things they were makes sense. Deal with it. <laughs> uh, 
unleashes his soulmate legion. And then comes up a trigger short of winning because that's what Kai does in the face of magical voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> Kai has an allergy to it. <laughs> that perfect guard and that 10k shield. That, yeah, he, he literally had nothing else going into his turn, so. Well. So he loses, but not just loses, because you see, when you play a shadow game... <laughs> no, he lost a in the most embarrassing way, because he, he got killed by a unit he's never seen before. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, Percival. We have a gold paladin liberator legion confirmed. Of course, we don't know what it does. It was a rear guard brought out by Monarch Sanctuary. Of course, we don't know who he leads with either. So, in other words, we may as well not even brought it up. Whatever. Teasing us. Bruno, too powerful. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. You lost, and like I was saying before, when you lose a shadow game, you have to pay for it in some bizarre way. In this particular Yeah, in this particular case, all their cards get set on fire, turn into a big fire vortex, and set Kai on fire. It's He's Apparently it's not <laughs> physically burning him. <laughs> it's just mentally or something. Because well. otherwise his... You know, his He'd be dead. Be dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just got second degree burns for a card game. We're <laughs> 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 like third degree burns. He was engulfed. <laughs> Point is, it was painful. <laughs> and now he's scurred. Even though he doesn't want to admit he's scurred. Everyone knows he's scurred. <laughs> especially Kyler. Because uh, why wouldn't you be? <laughs> he got set on fire. I think he has a reason. <laughs> it's scared and to lose against him ever again. Declaration of war. If you keep trying to find IG, I'm going to keep coming back. Deal with it, nerd. I will keep burning your ass. <laughs> yeah, it's like, and I, this is exactly what I'm talking about, about another thing that came up a while back. Someone who I guess is a rare devoted fan to the anime of Buddy Fight was t mad at people who were getting pissed at the fact that Gao has this problem where he doesn't lose. Ever. So he says something, I believe, along the lines of he, he'll he lose when he faces a big bad and it'll give him a, a need to get stronger or something like that. As which I was like, are you drunk? You don't need to necessarily, you know, go against the the big bad, because this guy, as far as we know, is just a foot soldier, like the butler is. <laughs> the commander of the foot soldiers, but still. But he's not the man in charge, you know. And he lost. It's, it kind of lost to him six episodes into Legion Mates. <laughs> On a, another topic entirely, Yuya from Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc Five lost in the second episode to a nobody. To the Taya. <laughs> to the Taya of the show. <laughs> and it had an impact on what he has to do because, well, everyone who would have joined this school thing left because cheater. <laughs> I forgot how my own cards work. Wait a second. So, yeah. It's like, yeah, you don't need to do that, that stuff like 20-something episodes in to build tension. You don't. You can do it earlier. And this is an example. Six episodes in, Kai has a big threat that's looming over him now because if he loses to this guy again, he gets set on fire again. He might just die. He, the yeah, second he time. might even die. <laughs> I think that's enough of a reason for him not to lose again. I actually like that they're set up to be, you know, recurring antagonists rather than. Uh, and then just some guys you just beat as you go. We're sitting in the background the whole time. It gives them an opportunity to be more personified. As well, yeah. Uh, all that happy stuff. It's almost like the writer of the original Vanguard uh, show knows what he's doing or something. And, um... And Pokemon uh, Movie 3, and the Pokemon specials, and most notably Raikou 1, and the Rurouni Kenshin movies. Why was there never a Suicune anything? Because Suicune... He his own game. Oh wait, Suicune was... Yeah, Suicune was... Yeah. He was in the Celebi movie. movie. Okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> he just wasn't the focus. Uh, besides the point. Anyway. 
But anyway, 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 yeah, it's like this is this is big now. We things can so all, all sorts of things can happen, including other members of their group getting attacked by these guys. Ten billion steel rods up Naoki's anus. He <laughs> <laughs> yep. won't lose because we don't want to know what happens after that. No, that's but the they have to make metal boards intimidating. Yep, and that's the thing though. That's another thing. When you know your character, when you know the best player they have can lose, that means anything can go. Do anyone, does anyone else have? It means that there's actually what's the word I'm looking for? M. A threat. Tension. Yes, there's tension. I actually want to know what happens because I don't know if they're going to win. I, that's. What's going to happen yes. when they don't? You know? Yeah, it's that's, that's called tension. That's called good storytelling. I, I see back in the day, losing to everyone means you don't know if they're going to progress any further or not. Gao beating the best player in the world, beating right right, immediately beating the best players in the school, all of them, I think, except for Zanya. No effort required, by the way. Yeah. He He's just naturally... Means no what? Practice. Yeah, no practice. He just does it. It makes you makes you not care. Why? Because I mean, who's he going to lose to? He's even beaten the worst players in the school. <laughs> he literally has beaten everyone except for mid-range players. So why do I care if he wins or not? Because at the end of the day, he's effectively the best player in the world because he's beaten all the best players in the world. But anyway, enough of that rant. I just felt that had to be discussed because I think people aren't understanding why we're so mad at, you know, Gao. Why everyone is getting so mad at Gao. Especially after 15, because people really wanted Noboru to win, and they were mad. Anyway, anyway I guess... Guy gets his just desserts for running off on his own like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, what would, it, what would Miwa have done? He wouldn't have really done anything, but... Uh. He would have taken the bird for him. It would be fine. <laughs> Push him, uh, pushes this up through the fire. <laughs> and stops it. I cook for you, you take this hit now. <laughs> Man, me would be the most devoted friend if he literally takes getting set on fire for his friend. Tetsu's done worse. <laughs> Sold his soul. <laughs> <laughs> he was a devil. To make Ren be successful, even though he does not deserve it. Oh man, but yeah, I guess that's about it for that episode. Like we said, next episode, um, Naoki versus the big bad Beetleborgs. Apparently, his name, uh, the guy is called Nave. Yeah, Nave. I forgot where where that's f what uh, what language that's from, but I know that's the actual name. I just forget where. Either way, Either way. it might be Spanish. Fisting. <laughs> And uh, in usual deeply style, I don't think they're gonna care because they are a Vanguard only deck. <laughs> yeah, Vanguard only. You kill either kill their sides or lock the sides or whatever. Fine, all the power to the Vanguard. <clears throat> I'm hyped because we're actually gonna see something new. New and glorious, because dude, I'll take Metal Heroes. As opposed to this episode, which is like, no, oh, we're here, but we can't show you yet. <laughs> you, you gotta wait a sec. Just show us the card, people. Why do you have to... We only commissioned the art. <laughs> 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 oh, well, what are you gonna do? Well, we'll see you in, like, what, five days now? Yep. Alright, well, until next time, everyone, final opinions of the episode. Dude. This direction they're going in is fantastic, and they, just need, they need to stay this course. Zach, like, okay, we so already concurs. knew it was gonna be good just right from the get-go because <laughs> yeah, it's RPG the formula. Has RPG formula. What else you need? And now it's just building off of that. Yeah, I agree with that. Silent M. Uh, this, this season so far been a breath of fresh air. It is so nice. To After. See yeah, I agree. After season two and three, especially. Season three almost was there, and then they kept on not wanting to go there. Stood up okay, and then just... I wanna know, uh... Hmm? What country Nev represents if they are all, you know, international champions? 
Hmm, that is a good question. Maybe he's American. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's pretty gruff. American I don't know. Judge. That's he's why American they took IT. Today. He's a Japanese champion. Maybe he's from Spain. <laughs> he looks like he could be. <laughs> Just watch the, the other guy that we don't know what he uses. So it's probably like Chinese or something. Maybe he's from Africa. Better question. Hey, Southern Africa is majoritively <laughs> white people. Why is Misaki the only one who seems like she cares about Corey's disappearance? Well, you know, that, yeah, I guess we did miss that shit. Oh, yeah. It's it could have happened for like five seconds. It was so inconsequential. Apparently they do remember Corey. They're not bothering to hunt her down. <laughs> Nobody like cares Kai about Corey. I think <laughs> Kai would be because Sing Saver slash Sing Saver, if he's actually Sing Saver, is the one who's going to save Corey. Hing Saver uh, Dragon. <laughs> Hing. <laughs> <laughs> because of the extra stand. It's okay, when they find Aichi, they're going to find Corey, too. <laughs> that Corey way, Corey doesn't going. get mad that no one was looking for her. He'll be stapled to his butt. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, your opinions of the show. Pretty good so far. Yep, and I think I agree with all of them. This is how you write a story. I Buddy haven't fight. been this excited for a new episode of Vanguard for over a year. Probably longer than that because... Season three well, Season 3 well, had its ups and downs. But I never especially cared because it's like, oh man, finally stuff's going on. Then uh. the next episode happened. Alright, it's done. Next. I was just excited when I found out I was running for this kind of like, yes, finally we get to see this. Nope. <laughs> yeah, well, I think we just only had our they speculator. Again, while Kai is recovering from uh, complete and total anal devastation. Oh, that's right, oh, yeah. Kai. And then he got. Uh, we also forgot to mention that <coughs> freaking Kai is going to go back and talk to Ren again. Uh, I forgot to mention that too because we forgot. Because so many, there were so many small parts that were not as important as the big I'm part. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this all the way. No, actually, I'm going to do this. Actually, I think that was the reason he went to Sai because that's <laughs> where everything, like. No, that's what that. no, that's what he saw on T V. Originally though, he was thinking about Ren acting like he knows more than he's letting on. Because you see, Ren has this thing where he's a dick. <laughs> Ren has antisocial personality disorder. So does everyone in this show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know this. <laughs> <laughs> he's the only one who should have looked at it. So yeah. Elliot, does this mean we're gonna find out more reminder cards? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they have a whole extra booster in after all. They do. You kind of are the extra booster. Well, you know what I'm going after. Yep. Phantom Blaster Legion. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's about it now. So, until next time, everyone, don't comment about how to do stories unless you actually know how to tell stories. <laughs> yep, bye.